In the narration of Al Imam Muslim in his Sahih authentic compilation, that Abu Salih, a Samman, the student of Abu Huraira from the Tabi'een, he used to teach his students that if they want to go to bed, and before they lay down, they should lay down on their right side. That's a sunnah. Laying down on the right side. And that they say, when taking their right side, and this, by the way, after the narration of what Abu Saleh taught his students, he then connected it to Abu Huraira, and then to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this is an authentic supplication from what the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to supplicate with and teach. The dua is, Allahumma rabba samawati wa rabba al-ard. O Allah, Lord, creator and sustainer of all the heavens. Lord, the Rabb, Lord, creator and sustainer of the earth. Wa rabba al-arsh al And the Lord and sustainer of the great throne. Rabbana wa rabba kulli shay'in. Our Lord, O oh our Lord, and the Lord of every single thing. Thalik al-habbi wa nawa the creator of the seed, the seeds through which are germinated and bring forth vegetation, and the nawa, date seeds that bring forth the date palm trees. Wa munzil al-Tawrati wal-Injili wal-Furqani. O Allah, the one who sent down the Torah upon Musa, the Injil upon Isa ibn Maryam, and the Furqan. What's that? The Qur'an, the criterion, sent that which distinguishes between truth and falsehood. أَعُوذُ بِكَ مِنْ شَرِّ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ أَنْ تَأَخِذٌ بِنَاصِيَتِهِ I seek refuge from the evil of every single thing that you have a grasp upon its forelock, meaning that you are in control of, that is, all of the creation. Allahumma anta al-awwalu. Oh Allah, you are the first. You are al-awwal. The name of Allah, the first. Falaysa qablaka shay'un. As you are al-awwal, then there is nothing before you. Wa anta al-akhiru falaysa ba'daka shay'un. And you are the last. And as you are the last, then there is none after you. Wa anta al-zahiru falaysa fawqaka shay'un. And you are al-zahir. The uppermost. Nothing is above you. The one who is high and lofty in position. That he has none above him. He is lofty with none above him. Now the opposite of Zahir is Baatin. And you are the close one. There's nothing closer than you. Nothing closer than you. Meaning, by way of knowledge, seeing, and hearing, and the general closeness of Allah Ta'ala to His creation, through His hearing of their dua, and His answering of their dua, and so on. Then the request, everything here if you've noticed, there is one request so far in this great long dua, which is a lot of praise of Allah, right? What was the one request that we've heard so far? Refuge is sought. From the evil of everything that Allah Ta'ala is in control of. So that's the first thing that's been requested. Now a more specific request comes right at the end of the supplication. And in general, in supplications, when you see a prophetic supplication with many praises of Allah and a large introduction, then know that that request is a very serious request. It has a big introduction to it. O oh Allah this and O oh Allah that, naming Allah, praising Allah with all kinds of mentions of his attributes and so on. Now here's the request. What is it? Iqdi anna dain. Settle our debts for us. A dain. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to seek refuge with Allah from debts. Settle our debts for us. And the final thing, wa aghnina min al-faqr. And give us sufficiency out of poverty. Give us richness to keep us from poverty. And as mentioned to you this hadith, that contains the supplication was collected by Imam Muslim in his authentic compilation from the narration of Abu Saleh, from Abu Huraira, who narrates it from the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.